Welcome back to the J Matt Show. I am your host, J Matt. I'm joined here by my co-host, Wayne. Yes. And B Hill is a guest today. Yes, sir. We are going to get straight to B Hill <laughs> in just a moment. <laughs> in just a moment. Um, my man is here, and I'm hoping he don't get sick. It is January. It is 2020, and we don't need nobody starting off the new year with no type of illnesses, no flu, no pneumonias, none of that debilitating shit that's, that, that, that seems to circulate in these winter months. Yeah, so, what, I'm going to ask you one more time, B. Do you need a change of clothes? I would love a pair of jogging pants or something. A pair of jogging pants? Now, you sure wear six, try. two, three, six, three. In a coat, I measured the other day. I'm a mirror. Five nine and some in, and some inches. Then I'm gonna have on a five nine shorts. and some inches. I know. I was thinking about it when I Man. said. Man, I work. Did it be jogging shorts then? Jogging shorts. Um, like capris on. Some capri joggers. I'll take them. Um, I think I might have something for you. I think LeBron been wearing them type of things now, ain't they? Oh man. LeBron been wearing them. Like a, yeah, yeah. I think LeBron might be. Um, Maybe the whole league is actually copying off of Russell Westbrook style. Yeah, I think they are a bunch of metrosexuals. They just, uh, they definitely are trending on the more French side of things. A little awkward, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I understand it's probably some rich people shit. I don't have enough money to understand that fashion. It just still doesn't look right to me, myself personally. I think the one that I just couldn't get down with was what they show you. Leaving out the interview, and he grabbed the purse, the man bag, man, and like shorted it out. Oh, the Brian or like, Russ? Man, no, Brian. Brian did. I think that was the one where it was just like, man, they mean that was so hard, man. Where yeah, it's I like, missed that one. Yeah, you could the never, song. Man, come Sinjai on, man. When, when they shorts. asked him a question, he got pissed off, got up, oh, put yeah. his glasses on, grabbed his yeah, man yeah, bag, yeah, yeah, and walked yeah. about that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember man. that. Man, I do remember that one. But I mean, the tight clothing is in. Yeah, I'm a thin, I'm a thin type of guy. I got, I'm, I'm, I can I'm, rock. Get, I'm getting back down to my uh, ideal weight to be able to rock slim nigga fits. You know? Slim, yeah. slim shit fits me. It's just my body type. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not everything fits. I'm not a shit. It ain't even slim. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a different type of slim you <laughs> got going on there, slim. That's just in my stage, you like Brandon's. It was that I am the slim fit. So I mean, since you are tall, like in a tall middle school kid section. Back in the franchise boys days, was you wearing the triple X's or was you just wearing larges? Man, it was just a large for me, man. Extra large when I wanted to get like, really close. And it's down to the knees. You know nightgown. Like, yeah, an extra, extra large nightgown. Like, you know, crazy. Like I'm wearing a blanket. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing a ghost in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the blanket, like, you're playing he didn't cut the head in the sheet. You know what I'm saying? I cut a head in the sheet. The holes in the eyes and shit. Yeah, it's always worked good for me, though, man. All right, so, so before we even get the really the show started, B. We was having a good conversation before we started the broadcast, okay. right? We was we was talking about foolish pride, and I think that's such a good topic that we just stumbled upon mm -hmm. because you did some foolish shit some by shit. walking to the podcast in the rain, walking in the rain because you didn't want to perform a simple task, which would have been go ahead and explain. This is your time, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna expose myself <laughs> too much. You don't have to uh, say too much. <laughs> but but majority of the thing is like, I just didn't feel like going through the motions that I knew where to go to. So what I did, instead of moving her car, getting the keys from her to move her car, and take my car, which I knew in my head if I try to get her keys from her, she would not want me to do it and ask me to wait longer, which would probably piss me off more. And we get in an argument, and I'm gonna come over here with two mad faces. Like that, because I'm going to cut you out in the car by how long you took. So I said, fuck it. Keep the keys. I'm just going to walk. So that's one of those things where she like, because honestly, I understand you because I don't like waiting. I'm not really a patient and person you know I'm on the when way. I know I got somewhere to be. And I don't want to be late. Be right. late. You know I don't want to be late. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right. I got to ask this question. So as you approach the door, how mad were you? Really? Talking about like really mad okay because this is how i'm kind of like looking at this man like because i'm one of them pick your poison type people so i'm looking at it like this you say that she would have asked you to wait longer you're not a patient person but instead the alternative mm -hmm. to waiting a few minutes mm -hmm. 
and driving here. Mm -hmm. You took probably about, let's see, how long did it take you to walk here? I said about 35 minutes. About 35 minutes on a five-minute drive. <laughs> so even if you had waited about five minutes for her, you could have still been yes, here about 25 point. minutes sooner than you got here and would have been dry. But that's not the point. <laughs> no, this is totally the point. No, it's not the oh, point. Oh, foolish man. pride is the point. Well, no, we got no actually, actually, the Where reason that you're it? really mad was because you were soaking wet by the soaking time you, you Are you mad at her or are you mad at you? I'm mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I wore that shit off once my kneecaps got to get cold. You know it's yeah, terrible. My God. Wearing wet jeans and trying to walk in them bitches is Man, the worst. It's, it's no, after you, you sell them, your thighs going to get the chafing. See, when you're moving in them, you can feel the friction getting <laughs> warm like this and like that, but you don't even notice it. It's just no part of it. When you sit the fuck down and stop moving and feel all that chill on you. That's when yeah. it's like, oh, this when you get back up trying to walk again. So yeah, right yeah, now, shivering. Yeah, right now, real so hypothermia yeah, right now, type shivering. Right but see, the best part about it, that I'm not mad though. You're not mad. You done, you done arrived at your I, I saved my happy. See, I would have been up here in 10 minutes with mad argument with her. So you're not mad no more. I'm not mad. Even though you anything, arrived I'm, 25 minutes later and soaking wet. Because you're sitting soaking there in the chair. Happy. You on the pod. I'm you on smoking the, pod, the blood. And I have to get into it. I got. I got. I, I gotta got say you. this. I, I gotta got say this for all I of the it. for I, all of the women listeners out there. This is what men do. This is why. <laughs> this is why we are right. fucking retarded. Right. This is the shit that men do. I that makes man. That happy. makes. Everybody say that women are smarter than right, me. Right, because when I got to Washington, she wasn't even a factor no more. Now I'm just starting <laughs> myself. <laughs> but I said, fuck it. His I'm ass out. was whistling in the rain. I'm not going to call her. I ain't calling nobody. In right? his well, happy, happy place. Rain. Right, whistling Dixie of the sun bitch. <laughs> but hey, I made my point to myself that I'm still happy. I'm smiling. I'd rather be here happy than being here on time and pissed. And she at the home, at, at the house, on the phone with her girl, like, right. this dumbass nigga. Right, now look, and she, she feel like she wins. He better not call me and ask right. for no ride. <laughs> so now she ain't gonna be mad at me, I ain't gonna be mad at her. All right, so here's a question for you, because it, I know it didn't start raining until you was into your walk, right? Nah, I hit the door, like. And it was raining? It was yeah. drizzling. So, so you like, just committed. Easy. So you, all right, and now, no, at no point did you say, this could possibly get worse as I'm walking. Nah, because in my head on God now, I said about 15, 20 minutes. But wait, but wait, wait, I got a question because I want to know what drove you to commit to walking here. That's a big commitment. Oh, wait yeah. a second. Once you hit the door, you saw it was drizzling. But yet and still, you wanted to commit to your I'm decision to, to prove your point. So here's my thing. I've been waiting. To get did that you guys? Me. And you don't have to say too. I know you didn't want to say too much anyway. Did, did, you, did you guys have anything that was happening before this? No. Or was it really you didn't want to wait? Oh God. Did you not like her attitude? No. No, and he was like, you know what? Instead of arguing with you, I'm so this all this is all raw pride. foolish pride. Right, this is all raw foolish pride because she's do what she do all the time. She always waits on about just about ready to start getting ready. Oh, so he was proving he was proving a point. Proving big he point. was proving a point that I would leave you. I would get the fuck out of here. And, 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 and it backfired because the own. car wasn't in the right place. Right. So in, in order for you to move the cars around, it, it would have been more of a hit. So so you had he had to do the right storm out. Uh, that's what that was. He had to storm out right. He like stormed out. God damn it! Can't switch the cars around. I'm a foot it. Did right, you slam the door? door? Nope. She was so you you out. went too far to turn back. I just closed the door and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm out." Oh, you was like, you did one of them quiet storm outs. It's like you know what? Right, I'm going to happily walk myself I'm to where I need to be. I don't need you. I'm like, look, you got to hurry up. She didn't want to hurry up <laughs> <laughs> to her, to my standard. Uh, mm. She's taking her hurry. I get it. But she, she ain't got because to be you though. are asking her to do something, right. so and you now, are on her. Head, no. Yeah, I feel up, it look because it, up, because in my head, I'm like, oh, she ain't taking my shit serious. Because mm. you ain't got to be no, I got to be so I want to go. I can't wait to get to my podcast. Can you hear the fuck up? Why right. you wait to after I'm almost done See, waiting? He, he worked yeah, himself into a nice right. I'm already in my head right. pissing myself up. It's like, why are you just now starting to put your face together? And then he said, and then he said, I'll show her. I get out of this bitch, walk, this make shit. myself even later, and show up dripping fucking wet. Dripping Teach fucking her a lesson. Do what I need to do. And feel stupid. Sometimes foolish <laughs> pride. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> foolish pride is necessary. It's a necessary it's evil at sometimes. Oh my necessary. god. Like I said, I'm happy about it. I feel stupid about it. But yes, I am happy that I did that. And I got here and I'm And you gotta embrace it to I've look done at, that. You gotta go look her right in the face like 
Mm-hmm. Yep, cold as shit. I've, I've, it. It. <laughs> I've walked. I've, <laughs> I've been without a car, and I've walked my ass to the. Let me full disclosure. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm cool right now. Listen, I walked myself to the fucking gas station to get a a shell. Mm-hmm. Got to the gas station, didn't have no goddamn money. Had to turn around, walk right back out the store. And walk back, back to the house, feeling like a goddamn Karma. idiot. Karma. I can only imagine what that felt like, cause I didn't drove to the store, got to the store, right. and realized I didn't have my, I walked, my right. money and pit man, right. pissed off. I walked because the, the, the car terror. was That'd down, it was in the shop, something was going on. I ain't had a whip. I'm like, yo, yo, I ain't too proud to walk. I don't fucking walk. Right. Man. I used Lucky. to do this shit all the time. I walk my, ass. Walk you know what? Bucket. On the way back, all I could do is laugh. All I could do is laugh at myself, like. Are you fucking you fucking idiot done walked your ass all the way here and you have no means to purchase what you came for. Nah. Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta chuck it up. You just yeah. got to. Chuck it up to foolish pride. It, thank you. It is what it is, man. So let's get back to the shits. Let's get this national day out the out the way. Because yeah. we did that shit way too late last week. Ugh. Ah, national well, you know, day. I, dun, 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 dun. I know y'all niggas love this segment. National Big Toe Day. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's National Bagel Day. Who fucks with bagels? A lot of Jewish people like I bagels. Can't, I, can't, I can't do no carbs right now. It is a lot of carbs and I, bagels. I love fucking bagels, though. Bagels and cream cheese was introduced to me in elementary school. My white boyfriend, Matt, Matt Roth. I'm going to say his whole government. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's fix the way that you just said that. Please, indeed. Your white boyfriend. Yeah. I said best friend. No, no you said boyfriend. Said boyfriend, big fella. Yeah. yeah. And make sure you don't edit that because that Do way. Do not edit that. You said your white boyfriend? You said your white boyfriend. Your white boyfriend. Oh, Jay. man, I was speaking too fast then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, mean, I had to stop speaking that. too fast. Look, we both looked at each other like. Right. So, I'm never going to My white best friend. Yeah, I'm going to okay. do it okay. again. Now we back with you. Yeah. <laughs> he introduced me to bagels and cream cheese. I bet he did. that's how I was I'm not giving you grip on that. Wait! I almost gave you grip. I'm not giving you grip on that. Put that shit out! Bagels and cream cheese. This motherfucker got a white boy bread introducing him to bagels and cream Holes cheese. And cream hey, cheese. right! Tight bagels bugs. got a hole in tight it. Tight Cream cheese is. Uh, yeah. The tight little golden bread. We need bugs. to start this over. Wait, wait, we take. There are no edit points. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, mercy. <laughs> and niggas can rub it. Alright, hey, no homo. No homo. Yeah. Let me get my. Where was I? Where was I? You was at bagels Take and cream the time, cheese. Basically. Hey, because I was I was so excited to let everybody know that my 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 best friend was white. <laughs> Instead, you told us that he was your boyfriend. Your white boyfriend that introduced you to soft bottoms and cream cheese. <laughs> Not soft bottoms. <laughs> yeah, it Holes went from a white best cheese. friend to weird. Like, wait, what? Anybody like bagels. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bagels and boyfriends. Like, like what? All right. No, we're not doing bagels and boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, bagels and that boyfriends. That is not a thing. That's what I walked through the rain for? No. <laughs> bagels and cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your love for bagels and cream cheese with a white guy. Man, what is we talking about, man? <laughs> Just the national day. It's national bagel day. You don't eat bagels? No. You don't eat bagels? I, I, fuck with bagels. It, I just can't right oh, now. Oh, you say you don't fuck with the cars. Right, it, it's just, I, don't, I hate that hard outside. <laughs> and it's like, I can't stand bagels, really. The I do like them. love a bagel. The hard outside. Yeah, I do like them with the, uh, the steak and cheese meat. Though. They say with the hard outside. <laughs> yeah, because the, the hard, hard side be like, oh, hard and shit. You got like, to that shit like that. But it'd be chewy, though. Yeah, it's right. That's, then it's like, then it's chewy. Yo, yo, like we talking about bagel texture now? You don't like yeah, the combination. Like, you gotta do too much for that fucking bagel. <laughs> All right, so it's also National like Donuts Booch Day. I'm not making this up. Booch is uh, what's that? B O O C H. That's that with the uh, that's what the uh, essays. We got the booch. You know what the booch is? I'm thinking it's like some drink to booch. What is booch? The essay is thinking kom- kombucha. I don't uh, think this is kombucha. Got a booch. No, booch. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to look booch. this up. Somebody look this up. It's also National Hat Day. Uh, I got a hat on. I got my Cleveland hat on. So I'm I'm, I'm celebrating National Hat Day. National Strawberry Ice Cream. How we spelling booch? What? Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the fuck? Actually, actually, the booch. Actually, the booch is the kombucha. 
That is what it, what the booch is. It's a booch. Yeah, hey, National Booch Day. And it's saying slang term for com, uh, kombucha. Uh, it's the booch. Oh shit! Oh, he was right. Boom. Niggas is knowledgeable around God here. Damn. You know. Hey, just because you walk in the rain don't mean you're dumb. You know where I got that. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had Cambo? I hate you. <laughs> Any of y'all ever had No, it? man. No, I ain't never had no, I ain't never even heard of it. For real? Never even heard of it. Cambo? You know well, shit, it. I had to look it up to see what it was. You know, so, you know I, I ain't had none. Huh? Travis Scott. What'd he say? He was like, hit my essays. I need the booch. Ah. You did say shit that. together. I'm the glue. Someone said. Oh yeah, see, yeah. See, see, I'm quick with it. Like, and that's my song too. And I never paid that attention. Song, yeah. It is <laughs> because if you ain't never paid attention to ain't your song. You paid some attention. All right, let's get it started. I'm about to make my jeans even. <laughs> we just watched as you was uh, walking over here in the rain. Me and Wayne was um, talking about Bad Boys Three. Uh, exactly. We was talking yeah. about specifically yeah. the interview that they had at the, on the Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. and I think that that interview was. Uh, revealing on the side of Will Smith. Yeah. Martin didn't do too much talking. Right. Um, he, he actually talked about, well, he, he didn't talk about it, but he mentioned the fact that he didn't do the, the press um, run during Bad Boys 2 mm. for whatever reasons. He was talking about shit like, you know, he was being a little asshole. But he didn't say that, but, you know, he mentioned right. he wanted to pri fly uh, private and they wasn't on that. But I liked a lot of the things that Will Smith was um, giving to the public that are that is vulnerable shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kind of like me revealing my, my my white boyfriend in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. He went a little deeper. You know. But he was talking about he was talking about how he was actually jealous right. of uh, Jada yeah. and Tupac's relationship. Right. And how he couldn't really interact with Pop, and how that was a, a, a point of tension right. during that phase. And Will was hot at right. that point. He's I'm the Fresh Prince. Exactly. You know I mean? right. So it was like, I thought that was kind of cool for him to actually admit that. I've never heard it. What did y'all think about that? Man, I mean, I feel like he just kept it real about the stuff that most men don't. Right. That's true. Period. That's true. I haven't. I, I can't think of any any moment where I've ever come out and be like, "Yeah, I was jealous." I don't think I've ever said that. I mean, because I, was, I can never admit it. I always show it. Probably you know what I'm saying like shit, be like be salty. Oh. I'll get bad at you or some shit. Like you know what? I don't even. I don't even want to say I'm jealous. I'm territorial. Uh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I, I could dig that. Yeah, my, my thing. My that's thing that's is because it, for you to be jealous, it got to be a situation of you feeling like somebody's a threat in a way of being able to take. Your woman from you, mm -hmm. but what's, I don't so feel like. That. But what's the difference though? What's what's territorial? Territorial is like, I don't feel like you can take her, but I still don't want you all up in my woman's face either, trying to even make an attempt. That's territorial. She belonged to me. Get on about your business, player. I don't you know. You know I what it is because kind of and especially no, because how do you decipher that? Yeah. How do you decipher what? Those the difference between to jealousy and territorial. Yeah. Are you saying your woman shouldn't talk to men? Oh, that's a different question. No, no it's kind of the same line question. question. It's a man's man. So you don't know what that man's saying to her. You trust her. All right, so so check this out. Like, okay, so check this out real quick. You could, you could, let's say you got a cat trying to get at your woman, and your woman is respectfully mm -hmm. telling this dude to go on about his business, but right. he's persistent. Right. Are you gonna uh, Are you gonna speak up because you're jealous, or are you gonna speak up because you know you're territorial in the way of like I at this point know you're disrespecting that he's me? To get at your woman though. It would just depend on the situation. <laughs> I mean, it's how you know. Yeah. I mean, let me put it to you like this. My my wife has women friends. I mean, excuse me, me and friends. Don't bother me. Right. Until, until one of them um, comes sideways or the wrong way or whatever, I ain't worried about it. Right. So y'all cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't, I don't even want to, no, I don't want to uh, mess, up, mess up your line of questioning. Oh, no, no. It's just, it's just, it's just like. Because that's interesting right there. Because like, I understand how he feels, but my whole thing is like, I'm glad I'm here from another side point. So this is my whole thing here. What's the real difference of her having male friends that you just know, or are they already built-in friends, or like she can be able, to like, in the course of living, have another male friend? I mean, that you can. Oh no, 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 no! Ain't gonna be no. Ain't because she can't go and just 
come across a new male friend or whatever, no different than, I mean, unless it's a male friend that we mutually came across, right. but, you know, it, it just, it, it depends on, and well, she come across a new trainer. A colleague. Ain't no, nah, ain't no new trainers. Why not? Like, like, no, nah, she don't have no There's trainers. Lots of new trainers on Instagram. Ain't no new trainers. My wife can't have a trainer. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm her trainer. <laughs> look at <laughs> there. Well, look at here. Now we're getting to something. I'm here. her trainer. So I'm just saying. No need so, for her to have one. So do you not trust her in the presence of other men? And about me not trusting her in the presence of other men. It got nothing to do with that at all. Would you say you're uncomfortable with her in the presence of other men? No, I'm not uncomfortable with her in the presence of, uh, it's more a situation of like, what scenario. reason? Do you what? Scenario. All right, you, you got scenario. one? Scenario. Let's hear it, B. Come on. Uh, Come on. Scenario. Now, she's at the bar, mm -hmm. out with the girls. You out with the homies. She, you go into the bar, coincidentally, y'all in the same place. You walk in and she's being entertained by a male speaking to her. Now, her homegirl's still around. But she's actually speaking to a male, and they seem like they're having a good conversation, laughing, what have you. What's the first thing on your eye contact with that? Are you thinking in your head? Oh man, there ain't no but but no eye contact. Well, first of all, I'm gonna observe. What you first of all, I'm gonna say to yourself. I'm gonna have to observe, observe the situation for a minute. But right, as you walk into see, it, see, come on, Wayne, tell me you. But this is how you gonna feel, man. So so wait a minute, hold on, hold on. See, so this is we gonna get to the bottom. Here's my thing. Feel. Here's my thing. First of all, if my wife's stupid enough to make a decision like that. That's a whole another different problem right there. And then also, I gotta look at how the conversation is going. If it looked like you, sometimes you so can you look at stalk it out. Wait a minute! Oh hell yeah! That's creepy, Wayne. I give a fuck. You you wouldn't just walk right up and be like, hey, that's Bale. What are you talking about? Hey, who is this? All right, you said I'm gonna right walk up. I agree with Wayne. I would always watch. I have to observe how because much hey, look. information I can learn by observing. Yeah. Before. You don't want to just. Bust in and make your and blow your spot. If you want to see what's going on, you want to see how she's interacting. You want to see because we're gonna have a conversation about it later. Because I gotta understand what that. And then depending on how she responds, yeah. I'm gonna be taking all of the information that I observe yeah. from that to say, yeah. hey, what you telling me? Don't mess up with how that conversation right. looks. You don't want to fuck it up off the exactly. top. Exactly. 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 And then, then I might look at it and be like, and then yeah. she might say, oh yeah, Respect. you know, it was this, this, that, that and third. I'd be like, okay, I'm done with it. But to say something that don't make 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 sense, we got an issue. Right. Now just to just to take it back to um Will and the, the situation with Pac. Um I don't know about y'all, but I've oftentimes like thought about how I would feel if I was in a relationship with an actress. Mm. And you know those intimate moments that they gotta have and right. uh, it's I can never really speak to how men can react or, or if they how they feel in that type of situation, but I always think about it like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. You know what? That's a good question, and I, I I'm I, not rolling. Let me be Look, the fill in. Let me be the stunt double on this. Let me fill in as well. Because I know what what I mean by this is that I know it's acting. I know that. What you're gonna say to me? This is my craft. This is my art. Wait, but you need an act. Then you got your Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. With, with, with but the titties out, no, no, the titty out scene. You're you, that is still real physical contact. This man can still say that he kissed, kissed you. He your can still say tits. that he seen you naked. You know what I'm saying? Dramatized sex with you. And then I gotta still look at you being into it and then I gotta look like that's the same way she looked with me. I gotta go I gotta go with you <laughs> to, the, to the premiere and fucking smile and cheese and photo ops. And look right. at the, and and then 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 watch this shit. the picture with him too. Like. Right. Like looking like damn. But hold on, hold on. Do you um this is what I wonder with I that is going. like when you <laughs> around make me feel good. Look right oh but when you in that atmosphere, do you just over time just become like just automatically like a part like in a way like that's no that's your norm where it's just like hey you know this is what we do out here but and, 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 and it's just like actors. as actors or whatever you like understand it where it's just like it doesn't bother imagine. you right porn star the porn star actor the actor right whatever like that if y'all both in the same thing you understand better yeah you know what i'm saying it's like like even in a simple like nightlife of a bartending and stuff like that if, if a bartender has a um a, a person that they're dating that has an opposite schedule with them they don't understand the late night they'll be out, the entertainment they gotta do and stuff like that. That's on a small level. 
It's like a stripper. People don't understand and not like they gotta live. Everybody I think it's easy dating a stripper. Oh, she gonna be stripping. Until you gotta live with her and see people smacking her ass after that. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference if you're not in this trade. Exactly. So it's like if uh, that most actors and rich people don't date people, it's not a part of their thing because it's hard for them to understand. It's hard for them to deal with them not understanding. Because you're going to be out late, be in photo ops and out in clubs with these other stars and actors, and you're going to feel insecure about, oh, damn, they rich and rich. And maybe she is fucking them. Maybe she ain't. Hey, but you, made, look, you, you made a good point you just know? talking about, uh, like, like once you start to date them. Right. Then yeah. that's, like, it's like all this stuff. Like, think about dudes that, that's wifing up strippers. Mm -hmm. now, I ain't saying nothing is against that, mm -hmm. but they get to wifing up strippers, and then next thing you know, they start tripping on them, but tripping. doing what it is that they was doing. Mm -hmm. Before you wipe them up, right. what do you, what, is you trying to pull her out of there and pay her the money that she's right. making every night? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I tell you, I used to live a strip when I was growing up as a youth. You know what I'm talking about? It was fun to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't had no real intention but fun. Like, I never went to her job. Nothing like that. I didn't see none of that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because I was out hanging out late anyway. And she called me when she was getting off. we go home together after that. Kick it. But it's like I never went to her job and seen her do nothing. I wonder what, what I wonder what Will's hang-up was. Was was it because she had a male friend, or was it because it was Tupac? It had to be because it was Pop. Man. It had to be because Will is in that industry. He understand. I think it, was, it had to have been Pop. Man, that's no, but he explained pop. it yeah. though. He explained it though. It was like it's a fact that how she felt about him was like he was like the uh, uh, best dude in life. Or whatever yeah, like that that you know what in the morning. And that's how she. And that's what he it. said. He's like she. Uh, when Jada just talked about Pop or like that, she made him seem like. He was like all the idea of how bad you know I know what I'm saying? It was hard, right? So <laughs> yeah. I was like, I respect that. It's like, and, and you, for you to go through that, I'm sure they probably fought many a nights over that shit. You know what? I, if there was a woman that I could speak highly of like that, that was ever in my life, whether it was an ex or just a, a friend or anything, that's not something that you speak to your. Um, you, I, I wouldn't be able to speak like that around my wife. I gotta. My wife has to know that there is nobody. That, Nobody that could ever be above her. Right. right? Here we go again. So Here we go again. This not this. We we've established that this man right uh. here speaks about his wife every single <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it's bec I hope that the listeners and everybody who's watching it is starting to realize the pattern of behavior that is happening. <laughs> here. This nigga behavior. is doing something. I don't know what the fight <laughs> is, but he is doing something. He's working. On something, it will come to fruition soon. Maybe not this year. Maybe next year. You go speaker into the show. What in the fuck, my nigga? Go ahead. I, I, I'm, I don't, I don't I even. I'm, I'm about to put this down. I'm not even about to find the interview. Why? You don't need it. I want to hear what he said about. Because I keep interrupt, interrupting the podcast. Man, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I can't find. It. I should have been prepared. No, the thing is, man, okay, man, like, so I, I have to figure out how to be able to speak about this generally without using my own situation. You feel yeah. me? Like, Take I'm, it back to Will Smith. You know, okay, so Will, 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 Will Smith, I don't feel like that Jada, if, if he feels some type of way about Pac based off of something that Jada says, Jada is out of line for ever speaking about another man in a regard that would make your husband jealous. That's no, Jada. But he it, was together way before him. Before, no, 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 wait a second. Fresh Prince, wait a second. Jada and Pop I don't know if you watched the interview. That's I it. don't know if you watched the interview. But he said that they never got to a sexual relationship. Right, that's what he said. But even in spite of that, he was still un unable to find himself in a position where he could build some type of uh, social relationship with Pop. Right. Yeah, then that's another thing, man. That's, there's no, that's a lot of, there's no way in the world that, right that she should be able to have a relationship with a man that can't have a relationship with her husband. Well, what if she had she had a relationship with him? But I think Will also respected that relationship. Let me also throw that in. Because they grew up together. Right. Jada and Pop grew up too. together. And he just, and again, props to Will. He respected that relationship. And I'm not sure if, if, he, had, if he played any role in uh, them not have a relationship or shit we don't even know if jada and pop ever stopped having a relationship because from all we know about how will and and, and jada marriage is set up they out here <laughs> so we don't really know if if jada and pop ever stopped having a relationship whatever that relationship was whenever it ended when pop died 
died. I, you know what I'm saying? That's more. Like, and, and, and it's just all around weird because even what you just said, from what we know, they out here. I don't, you know, I don't know how true that is, or if it right. is, or if it ain't. But it's like, but I guess it's kind of one of them things where, you know, maybe he felt like that Jada's Jada, a piece of Jada's heart was in another place where he wasn't yeah. comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that 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 hurt. That that, 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 that that that's what makes a man jealous. Yeah, that that that. that, that so that, that so ultimately comes back to what Brandon said. What's the difference between being jealous and territorial? I'm jealous of where my wife's heart at. I'm territorial when it comes to just uh, oh, fuck you. me and being on some bullshit. Oh, what is that? You know, that was in the that was in the early days. Why you not put it in the that microphone? Was in the early days, and it was like um, that's a, that was a big regret for me too. This I is could uh, never, Will Smith um, on the I could never open up to interact with with Pop. You know, because we had a little bit of a thing, right? Because you know. <laughs> Um, you know, they grew up together. I like how you put it up to me. And, you know, they loved each other, but they never had that, you know, they never had a, a sexual relationship, but they had come into that age where now that was a possibility, and then Jada was with me, you know, so, you know, Pac had a little thing he on said that. said it was a possibility. Um, but she just loved him, like he was the image See? of perfection, but See? she was with mm -hmm. the Fresh Prince. You but know, she was with the was right. Turn that off. I, I just turn that off. Like, she, he just he said that she, you with the Fresh Prince. He just and said that talking. she looked at him as the image of perfection. Right. But he looking at it like you with the fucking Fresh Prince though. Right. Fuck Tupac. Damn. Right. Now listen. Watch this, watch this, watch this, I didn't hear. No, we don't hear. I'm gonna finish this. It's just only. We don't hear no more. No. It's only a little left. No. No. We heard it already. That's enough. All right, all right, That's enough. We don't even hear more clips. That's deep. I didn't, when I first heard it, I didn't really pick up on it like that because mm -hmm. I didn't hear that isolated clip. I heard the whole entirety of the interview. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really hit as hard as that. And that, that also speaks to how clips and just fragmented segments of, of audio yeah. can give you a whole different mm -hmm. view and perspective of what a so whole different saying. narrative. A whole mm -hmm. narrative. Because like I said, when I heard, hearing the entire interview, it's not, it didn't hit as hard Right. As that one this thing. Yeah, but the way that he said that spoke to what we're trying to basically encapsulate in this little conversation right. that we're having about male pride. How you spoke to spoke to uh, foolish pride earlier right. and walking over here. And how men just innately have that thing in them where like you spoke to. Right. Like, 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 where there's territorial. But what Wayne said though. When where there's explained. jealousy. But when he explained it territorial, like it's pretty much what he just said. He was like, um, "It ain't an insecurity for me. It's like another man can take my woman. I don't feel that way because it's like that'll mean something that I don't feel good about myself." Pretty much what you were saying. Yeah. So that's what him saying, like, "But I'm the Fresh Prince." You know what I'm yeah. saying, like that. So it's like I ain't looking at it as like I'm not equal. Like I ain't good enough to be. Da -da -da -da. You ain't trying to. You can't take over me. I'm the Fresh Prince. But like, at I'm the same Wayne. time, she's you know thinking about another man in regards right. to as if this other man is better than him. But I'm saying like. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that she might have told him that on the build up to before they got as serious. I think he knew that before them getting serious. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I mean, so like, that's, that's speculating, it. whatever. We well, don't know. But I'm saying for, for him to be that comfortable to know and feel that and like know that exact type of feeling, that ain't something he stumbled across. And but even, like, even, hey, even, 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 you know what I'm saying? I think that was something already he had known and established between. Pac did, but, but you know what? He ain't even got to go that far or whatever, man. You can, you can, you can go and listen to interviews with Jada Pinkett talking about Tupac, and she speaks to about Pac in a way that you know you can tell that she definitely had a thing for Pac. Yeah, whether yeah, whether yeah. it was I want to be with him, but hey, he he touched her heart in a way that would have a man like, hey, listen here. Right, you know you used to do well, and shit. We don't we don't spend way too much time talking about goddamn Jada Pinkett and Pac. And that's it, and that's it. That's the last thing I wanted to get to on this interview was what we was actually talking about, which was the character part. When Will was talking about how he jumped out the uh, plane, the uh, helicopter, on his yeah. 50th birthday. Yeah. And he decided at that point he was going to start living his life the way that he felt he should live it. He was going to start being himself no matter if it meant sacrificing or, in his words, he said killing the character that he put out there to the world for so long a lot and of showing them the real Will Smith. And I think that, um, honestly, man, that is probably 
a lot of growth. But honestly, I'm glad that I've arrived at that moment now. I'm gonna say, oh, that's Will Smith is 50 me. years old. No, I, I wouldn't say sad. It do. But well, I, I, I can understand why you say that. I don't want to dismiss it. I do understand why you would say that. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm glad I'm learning that lesson now where I can be comfortable with who I am mm -hmm. and be willing to show who I am to people I don't fucking know. Unadulterated and not giving a fuck. I love who I am. Oh, God. You got to. It's super important. And for, for Will, and again, it kind of speaks to that whole thing with celebrities. And it, it doesn't matter how much money you have. He said it. Right. Material things, you can never have enough. He said that he was jealous of The Rock. I mean, damn. And we know The Rock is everywhere. 20 million mm -hmm. a flick. Maybe he might be even more at this point. But for Will to be that vulnerable on a press tour for a movie, where really, I don't know, it's kind of up in the air as to whether or not this movie is going to be a success or not. It's been a lot of time since Bad Boys 2. These niggas is older. That's what I'm saying. I don't think people should not expect shit. the same action-packed flick that used to be from Bad Boys 1 Bad Boys 2. I understand they are older. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very creative narrative where how we understand the transition from their younger characters to their now characters. I don't think it's going to be that same type of... Uh, Bad boys, bad boys, that young, vibrant type of thing, and flash. It should probably still be a little flashy, but not like that youthful stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna come to the point where, as we evolve as humans, following these characters and getting older, we understand the new characters they are. I don't think they'll be that dumb to try to emulate the same type of shit from the other bad boys. I don't know, no, I don't know, man. I, I gotta, I gotta disagree with you there because just looking from the trailer, it looked like. They're definitely coming with the same action, yeah. but just with older jokes in a way of like, yeah, they're acknowledging that we are older that's now and everything like that. I'm but saying. I don't think that it's like, think about the lethal weapons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the action was still there, but they know that when they got to the older right. ones, they like, man, we owe it. Murtaugh was old from the beginning. But, you know, like, <laughs> like but they show Riggs. Over time, becoming old, like, damn, I ain't got it no more. But the action was still there. I don't see this being no different. That'd be dope if they do introduce new characters into coming into fulfilling the new bad boy slots. Like, they are. So you that's see what I'm saying? That, that, that'd be dope if they're trying to change the word like that. But I don't think that. See, me, I, one thing I don't do is watch trailers. I want to see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, even on Netflix, I don't even like Well, shit, how you gonna not see the trailer? You got an awful <laughs> lot of <laughs> shit to say. So, but, but this is my opinion of what I'm saying, like that. Okay. Because like I just feel as though this should be very as good as the rest of them, just on an older level. It should be just as good as the rest of them. But so it, I don't think it's gonna be a downer. I'm gonna be overplaying the publicity. It's that you just gotta these days being out there get you more people like that. You wanna get that younger generation involved with it too that didn't see any of the bad boys. So um, now they be on a major network like that. It's getting more people drawn into it. Man, I'm um, some bad boys gonna do what it's gonna do. Nah, I'm gonna watch it. Since, since, since we're talking about um, movies, but. I just wanted to throw this out there real quick. Did y'all um, hear about the new show on Netflix called The Messiah? It's supposed to be um, the story of Jesus, what? but more <laughs> modern days, like as it's the second coming of Christ. So it's basically playing out the, the, the Bible story of the second coming of Christ. And from the trailer of what I saw, it seems really interesting because... They're trying to play on the whole idea of belief and faith. So if you do believe in Jesus and the whole story and you're a Christian, if Jesus did come back and it wasn't the whole made-up story of uh, the, the uh, rapture and all that stuff, that shit ain't even real. That, that ain't even real stuff. As even, even on lines of biblical speaking, that ain't even real. But if Jesus came back and was among them... Yeah, I ain't even about to touch it. Man, you know I be doing my shit. But if, if Jesus came back and he was among the people, would you believe that that was him? Would you believe that he was actually performing miracles? Would you believe it was devil work? What would you do? So I think that it's interesting as they're playing on that narrative of the second coming of Christ. And he's played as a like a Iranian, like a Middle Eastern dude. He looked like a, a dude from a Game of Thrones. Who? The Dothraki nigga. 
<laughs> but anyway, basically they're 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 depicting him as a Middle Eastern, which would be more uh, closer to the story of the Bible, and I feel like. This is a pretty interesting concept. I'm not sure it will work, and I'm not even sure I will watch it. I thought I would just mention that, which I think. <laughs> you will do it? Y'all think something like that will work? <laughs> I, I mean, Man, I'm not interested. It's called the Messiah. Too. I think it's going to work, and it's going and it's going to have all the church people talking. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what it is. It's going to be very, very popular for church people. You know how sell religion. You know how it's to sell. Yeah, religion, sell religion. Religion is always uh, selling. They talk about, they use uh, shows like that to do, um, like literally college courses they'll have a whole lectures about shows and comparing and contrasting it to the real literature and all this shit hey if y'all decide to watch the messiah let me know what y'all think is that the old motorola uh, yeah. it sure is all right did y'all also <laughs> did y'all know that this um vagina scented camels out here how Sway. Like how? Sway. Google that while your phone um, ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Google vagina scented candles. I think. I didn't know how I this think is an, I think this candle was uh, created by an actress. But what scent of vagina though? This is what we're about to talk, talk about. Because there's very, there's a lot of variations to vagina smells. I mean, at what point in time of the day are we? Talking about, I got to look is this shit early morning? Is this fresh out right. the shower scent? Wait just a damn minute. Is this douche scent? You better erase that this show yeast up. infection. Is this, this delirium disease in your scent? Vagina scented vagina candles. I mean, you can go a lot of different ways. So, of course, of course they're going to pick the, the most thing. pleasant smell, right? You're not going to... What is the most pleasant smell? I don't know. See? Let's brainstorm right like now. This smells like my vagina candles. Please, can we work this out? I'm not. For the people? $69 Etsy. If this you guys, like so vagina. this is what we're going to do right now. This is what we're going to do right now. As a collective, this smells like my vagina. if we vagina. came up with an agreed scent for vagina, what would that be? If we could agree on a vagina scent, what would it be? Because this is what the people and this is. A, this is a very, very Fucked up question, man. Like, is it, man? I don't think it is. Like I don't even know. I don't even know how to how answer you, this. Right, how, oops. We just have to agree. Let's see a pussy, man. No vagina. Vagina, excuse a me. A vagina in it. Because if you want a pussy smelling candle, I'm thinking straight strip club and cherry vanilla. Nah. Uh -uh. Cherry. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> but this is vagina scented. S smells more like a doctor's office, right? That's <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> like, 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 here's the thing. What the like, hell, Mike? like, how do you even, how, like, what do you even call? Like, if you had to say That's vagina disgusting. smelled like something, like, what does like, vagina what smell like? Like, like, a lot of people uh, say fish. vagina, right? But, but like, uh, that's that's stinky vagina. That's a right? that's a bad vagina. So what does a so let's just come up with a smell rotten. I'm thinking a pleasant smell just a but a candle would just some don't smell like nothing. I like my vagina to smell like floral scents. I mean, but that's an added ingredient. Yeah. I'm saying like ingredient. I'm saying if you talk about a natural I'm talking about are we talking about a natural vagina? I'm talking about wash the snatch up. Come let me smell it. Here's the question. When your wife comes home from being out all day. Don't ask me about my wife. <laughs> you talk about your wife all the time. That you don't ask me about her. <laughs> there are two shit just if out of here. Woman, you know if a woman, if a woman has been out all day, what do we think? That vagina smells like because that was because it's gonna be, it's gonna more than likely be tarred. I'm assuming okay, because did she poop that day? Oh, oh God, no! God, God, damn it! You know, she go sweat that back through the middle. No, of that. B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if it smells like anything no, at this B. moment, is she on the period? All right, you know what? Should I? Say okay, this should, should, go should we just end this because I don't think we're gonna come to a no, 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 no. This, this is gonna go nowhere. You said a long day of work. What's this going on? With I, I said floral scent. Now, if you just sitting there, had a long day at work, sitting down, doing nothing. 
Man, listen, if she <laughs> didn't, if she didn't went out all, all around all day, man, and it's been marinating. Man, it, it, ain't no woman coming like, back with no floral smell unless hey, she no, went now, fresh, like, unless she now, went freshened up. So, right. It's not where it's. I'm about to ask y'all a real personal question. Y'all can give it up or not. Have y'all ever performed oral on some all day coach? Yeah, yeah, I done grabbed myself. Yeah. So be asked. Sometimes you gotta get together, get you together, man. Wayne is looking at his phone. <laughs> he's I can say, it to us. I do not it to us. believe I have. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like, you've been married for what? But I'm like, years. I don't I know you. that I have. It's man, possible. Shit, man, you definitely have. When you do the law on averages. <laughs> man, you crazy as shit. It's possible. Crazy as shit. So, I think all of y'all is crazy as shit. What do you mean? Why? Because you know you have. Okay, I just said it. I just yeah, admit. There ain't no kind of possibility, or kind of maybe. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> he doesn't eat coochie no more. He's recently married. Right. <laughs> the, the thrill is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. No, but first of all, you've been married for like 18 years. So <laughs> you've been married for like 18 years. What is we talking so about? You no, know I don't eat no coochie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get to your boy, man. Please bring uh, up your boy. You hit me up earlier in the day. You said, you know we have to talk about this. This, and I'm going to say it, this nigga. It's a complete misunderstanding, by the way. Boosie. Uh, complete misunderstanding. Anybody get a messed up like this. But man, they say his brother a Kappa. They on his ass, too, man. Them Kappas is motherfucking coming. You know what? I'm a, I, I, hey, look, look, look. This 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 would really trip me out about it. Peppermint swirl. Him doing what he doing is one thing. Okay, Boosie. We get it. Boosie wouldn't apologize. Then right after the apology, he turned around and said, Okay, I won't wear the shirt no more. If y'all teach me how to do the shit. <laughs> Nigga. So you just not gonna let this in. You're not gonna just be like, hey man. Respecting y'all, my bad, I made a mistake. You gonna just keep pushing this but, but, to the point of just Really? What was his mistake? Huh? What was his mistake? Oh, he wore. He went to the store and bought a Kappa shirt. And rocked right. It. See, see, that's the, that's the point. Well, how is that a mistake if y'all selling these shirts? <laughs> and I bought. All right. One. So let me. Can I ask Where you a question? Where you buy it from? Can I ask you a Who's selling them? To? I mean, you could go to a Greek store and get them. All right. So y'all uh, selling them to the people. Yeah. Greek or not, right? So his mistake. I could go buy one for so, as a gift to somebody. Right. But see, I so I can't wear. I bought the motherfucker. You selling it? What? Well, well, hold on. Ideally. You can do whatever the fuck you want to. It's not against the law to so do it. So, 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 what it, what it more comes down to is that you do you have? Do you have? You're not a member of the then organization. Then don't sell it to people that ain't members. And they got nothing to do. The people that sell it don't make members. Right. Then why y'all allowing this to be sold? Because it can. Because it's for sale for the public. You you, you ain't gonna sit up here. I'll be. Checking I don't go to Ohio State, but I can wear Ohio State shirt. Sure, anybody kicking my ass? Okay, so let me ask you this question: Would you wear a Mason hat or a Mason shirt? If it looks nice to me and you selling it in the store. So with that being said, what it comes down to is this, is that you would do it to be an asshole opposed no, to you understand it. being an asshole. How are you going to sell me something getting mad because I bought it? Or what? Where? <laughs> it's just like you buying, buying some ribs for me. So wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So wait a minute. If I sell Greek. You can't be eating. Right. Wait a minute. If I sell Greek paraphernalia, you mean right. to tell me, and I'm not Greek. I sell Greek paraphernalia. You buy it, but the organization have an issue with the fact that you're wearing paraphernalia that represents their organization and you're not a member. I'm the asshole? Be mad at the motherfucker selling your products to people who's not a member of your organization. Not me for buying it. You throwing your hands up like he just made a point. I'm trying to make it no sense. Well, that's, like, that's like getting pulled over but you also by the police like this dumbass and Willoughby. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just like him getting pulled over, he got all of this goddamn weed in the car. Or what are they? Him telling the police, like, don't be mad at me for having the weed. Be mad at the motherfucker that sold it to me. No, that's, that's the dumbest shit in the world. Man, so you are the way. What's that different that about it? That is so so different. Different. Wait, 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 Tell me so, what's different about wait, it. Let me because you're only the person that sold it to you, responsible opposed to your action and what you did with it. Wait, let me bring it back. That's what you're doing. That's where it is. Go ahead. Let's bring it back here. That is not. So you have to explain to. B, because he might not know and why the Kappas were mad. Okay. Right, but wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. If you understand, I mean, if you listen to what he's saying right now, we just told him. 
they're not. A, he's not a member of their organization. Well, all right. So and he don't give a shit. Are the cap is actually mad, or is this story more about just Boosie not knowing? No, this is a, a like. Well, first of all, it was comical to me that Boosie didn't know. I'm not gonna hold somebody accountable for something that they were ignorant to. That's the thing. And, and like I said, I started off. I said Boosie apologized and said, "Hey, I'm not gonna do this anymore." What well, my so issue is, his and, I, and he did that out of respect, which most people that understand Greek life are. If you go to that store, if I, me being Greek, I went to the Greek store and has purchased things for other people that are Greek. I haven't worn it, never would, because I'm not Greek. That's because of the understanding that I have. I have a respect for those organizations because I understand the process that they went through in order to be able to earn those letters that it is that they have. So why would I go and put on their stuff and be out here fall? You wouldn't sit up there and put on a red bandana and go walk through no crip neighborhood and you ain't no blood. Or better yet, you ain't going to go walk through no crip neighborhood with no blue rag on and you ain't no crip. Would you do it? Mm -hmm. I, why not? I mean, of course, we know there's consequences to it, but out of respect, you still ain't going to do it, but right? But campus. I understand, right? but so this is not... so <laughs> so it's in a store for so, sale. Okay, so uh, bandanas is in the store for sale. <laughs> See, that's, that's a whole different... But am I, You're going to make everything am I, different am, because you feel how you no, feel. I used listen, to ride listen. bandanas. Listen. I did too. So, that's, so what the fuck? So yeah. what I'm saying is that if somebody said, hey, is you going to go walk through a neighborhood with that shit on? No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it 100. But he ain't walked through a college with the shit on either. Okay, but see, you taking it to a violence. I'm just no, saying, I, I'm, just, talking see, just, oh, I'm talking about a respect. Wait a minute. I'm talking about a respect. Wait a minute. Right. Notice what I said. I said, but out of respect, you also not going to do it. Right, so listen, though. But if I, if I, but look, if, if I had a red rag on, if I, if I put a red rag on right now and put it on Instagram, and like I got a red bandana on, I don't think a blood gonna hit me up and be like, nigga, you better take it off. Uh, if it's a blood that's a real blood and he follow you, I don't care. I bet he will. No, no, listen. I bet he will. Unless I'm claiming bloods. So he on there. So if you had on a, let's say you got on a T-shirt that uh -huh. say Pyru on it, oh, or that's, whatever. That's so different. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you ain't a worse whoa, 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 whoa. No. Here's where it's not different. Let's do it. Here's where it's not different. Let's do it. The shirt that he had on had K A S I on it. Right. And that's what. what that's what differentiates it. From, but that's not a say, gang. And his caption said what? I didn't what? say There's it was no a, his caption said what? His caption associated said what? with Kappas. What are you talking about? Y'all changing the narrative of what I'm saying. What did Bushy's caption say when he posted it? First of all, I don't know what his caption said, but I will tell you what he said. And, no, his where was he was, at when he had the caption? I think it was at a, yeah, game, it was it was a game. It was at an NBA game? I, I think so. I think it was at, a, at an NBA game. So basically, this whole thing is a thing because he was at an NBA game with a game. No, he's, he's the like whole props. thing is that he was out here wearing a, a fraternities. No, you talking about... I think it's because understand. he was at an NBA game. Don't, tell me, what, what, do all all what, what do y'all understand about Greek life? I understand. I like, I like I, the day. Honestly, let me say. <laughs> let me hear. Let me hear. I <laughs> used to fucking pledge capital. Full disclosure. I'm sitting here talking shit like a motherfucker. I used to pledge that shit, and I saw your ass in Akron while I was pledging, nigga. Why you was doing your understanding of Greek life? I seen you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see. Like so that's what I'm saying. I get what the fucking shit was about, and I'm glad I didn't fucking uh, really do that shit for real. And no disrespect, like. You know, shout out to all the Greek uh, people or yeah, whatever. Really. I'm just not with that shit. Once yeah. I found out more history and shit like that, but any, but but truthfully, it's funny because it's just because I think it's Boosie. He was at right. an NBA really game boosie. and his social media, everybody clout chasing and his Kappa shit. You know how many, right. you know how many videos I've seen on my Explore page with Kappas doing they fucking peppermint twirl right. on my page. Man, what right. does that have to do with anything, bro? You would see right, posting like, like, like take, shit. All right, all right. Because y'all, y'all kind of like y'all kind of attacking, y'all kind of attacking the stereotype of the organization. What if it would have been the Q's instead? I don't it care who it was. Okay, so with that being shit. said, so understand at the end of the day, it's about the respecting of you know of like, just the organization. Was, like, like, y'all stepped up to my just say he was being ignorant. He was ignorant. Okay, so so was it being disrespectful? Right, right, right. So to my son. So so what I was getting ready to say earlier. I actually found it comical that he did it or whatever. And I said, I'm not going to hold him accountable for the ignorance. I'm like, yeah, I think he went too far as far as being like, all right, now I want to learn to shimmy. Okay, let this in. But more than anything, what really bothered me was the people that don't care to even attempt to have the respect 
for the organizations because they don't understand the process or just don't give a fuck about it. And that's right. the part that I can't get down with because I do understand that process. I do know what they went through to earn that shit. And to have somebody turn it around and rocking your shit when you know what you had to do to really be able to wear that shit and somebody else just going and thinking that you should be able to do it because you can buy it in the store, that's some bullshit. Yeah, Odell Beckham feel the same when he but buys also, a jersey? Say what? But you also yeah, Odell said. Beckham Jr. feel the same way when somebody buys a jersey? You compare you don't know what it took to get there. Bro, there, bro, bro get, Odell they, Beckham they, is they, getting they, Odell Beckham they, is getting paid and he wants the jersey sold. That's different. You talking about an endorsement opposed to somebody they, earning the some letters that everybody can't wear. Shirts. No. Who getting the money off the cap? Whoever shirts. it is that's selling them. So who authorized them to sell them? They gotta get get a vendor's license to be able to get all the no, stuff. I, 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 I can just go get right, a vendor's so license to sell a shirt and no, just start true. printing capital shit and selling. Yeah, you, that's not true. Man. So, so who's because gonna, they gotta be getting the cut. Cap okay, so, so, all right, oh, okay, so let's Cap say they're getting a cut. Cap so Cap just anything. because they're yeah, okay, selling. again, again, look at the the, the way that you keep changing anything. The Cap let's say, let's say they is getting cut off. Okay, where, where the hell are what you're saying make it okay for a person that's not a part of the organization? Like, let's say everything you're saying I can is give true. Give you an example. Wait, hold on. Let's say everything you're saying is true. They let's say they get all the proceeds, then they can sell them to whoever the fuck they want. Mm. Where in there does it say that hey? Although you're not a member of this organization, you should be able to wear our goddamn because it's being moment, sold. The moment you sold it to me is mine. So that's what I'm saying. And I can do what I want to do. Hold on, baby. So you just said that his brother is a capital. So maybe he bought it in support of my brother. That's a cap. Listen, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you prime example. I have several shirts that say Marines. I'm gonna say I was in the special army. forces. I ain't no motherfucking Marine or no Special Forces nigga, but my brother is, and I rock that you bitch. You don't know what they I've been rocking it for years. Why? If someone asks me, are you a Marine? No, nope, but my brother of. is. It's the same thing. Boosie did wasn't doing it as any type of disrespect. You know what? Like you just Boosie said. Boosie already said that. He said that he did it because he said he thought the shirt was fresh and he right. said that he was actually right. just so showing and up. And was, so with that being said, do notice, notice, what, to notice his, what his song. Hey, listen. I'm off Boosie. Boosie made a mistake that he acknowledged. He but it wasn't a mistake. mistake. Okay. The mistake was still getting on his so you think, about. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Out so, so, you didn't, so he lied in his apology. He's supporting his saying. brain. This is, this is so, he, shit. so are y'all saying he lied in his apology? So in his apology, he said he did not know that he could not wear the shirt. He said that. That's what he said then. And then after saying that, he said that, hey, you know, I won't do it no more. But y'all no, missing the point. Okay for me let's, let's, let's I ain't missing the point. Let's move past, Boosie. I'm, let me ask you this yeah, question. You said you go, um, if you was to buy the shirt, you can wear it because it's yours. All right, with that being said, if, if you saw uh, uh, a shirt that represented a, or one of those organizations, and then it just happened to be a college party popping up, and you know it's going to be a whole shitload of members of that organization at that party. Would you attend that party with that shirt on? Why would I do that, Wayne? Because it don't matter. It's yours. You didn't bought it. I why would? Why, 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 why not? Wayne, why you are why the not? king of mess. What is that about? I'm asking a question. Your context yeah, that's is crazy, crazy bro. bro. Why don't this question make sense? Your that's context so is, is my crazy. Thing is, is, my thing is, but if you if you feel like it's okay to wear it, then why wouldn't you just why, go ahead and do it? Listen, Wayne. Listen, Wayne. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Is crazy, look, wait, wait. This is what he said. He uh, wants you to wear red uh, flags in the hoods. We sell rib cage shirts to our customers. Because they wear that many back my kids start cooking. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be like, okay, I got a rip. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, 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 now you talking about it's misdirection. You, talking about? you just said you sell rib cage t-shirts. That don't mean Here, to wait. somebody. No, 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 hold on. You just that said you sell part of my organization. organization. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. But I go, I, I don't, don't say, say no. Listen, listen, I, 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 listen to the difference between the question I asked and what you asked. I didn't say, would you go to a college party and then go jump in their line and start stepping with them? I said, would you attend the party? Now, if you sell me a rib cage t shirt, I would still come step up in rib cage whether, oh, whether yeah. I got it on or not. Hell yeah, if a cap would sell me this shirt, hell yeah, I'm going to wear it today. Hey, Goddamn party. Hey, listen, hey, listen. Here's That's, a very you simple You see how crazy it sounds? Here's a very simple And what you think will happen? Wait. Well, if I come up in rib cage, because I'm going to represent your brand. Cap, that's a different situation. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 and I don't care about nobody wearing an army t shirt okay, with a so so hey, 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 Look, look, B, wait, wait, hold on. B, we about to move on. Wait a second. 
It is different. These Wait. niggas don't get it. Wait. I do if you keep saying it's dope. apples and oranges, how are you able to keep changing the scenario? What have I changed about the you scenario? Just, okay. First, Wayne, you said if you was a crip, you wouldn't go to a crip neighborhood. And you said if you had a rib cage t-shirt, you would go in a rib cage restaurant. I didn't say that. Or to be a cook or whatever you say. How is it different when I say my brother is a Marine? Is it that how is it different? Kappas are organizations, right? Marines is an organization. I wear t-shirts that say Special Forces Marine. A very serious organization. Way more serious than being a Kappa. Okay. Now, for your example, would you wear a Kappa t-shirt to a Kappa party? I would not wear a Marine shirt to a Marine party. It, period. There's no, we don't have to even go no more. No right, further. Because I'm not the I would not do that exactly. because I'm not no fucking Marine. I didn't go through what it meant to be a special Marines, uh, a, a Marine special forces. To be just a like, part of their party. Second, just like Boosie did not wear a Kappa shirt to a Kappa party. He wore it to a basketball game. I would probably wear my Marine shirt to an NBA game, high school game, or to the gym like I do all the time. That's basically all we're saying. Is. Would you? Well, let me ask this question. Would you compare wearing your Marine shirt to wearing a Crip flag uh, in a Crip neighborhood? Because, see, here's the thing. Why does it have to be in a Crip neighborhood? I just don't Okay, understand. okay, watch this. Take the I used to wear take blue this. flags. Take, take the crip. I used to wear blue flags, Wayne. Okay. You asking me? Were you ever approached by a Crip? No. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. I guarantee you that if you out somewhere and you have on any type of fraternity or sorority letters, if a person that's in that organization sees you, they're going to come up to you I don't, and they're going no, to question you. I don't, I don't believe that. You might believe that because you hang around cues. No, it ain't no believing it or whatever. And it ain't about hanging around cues. It's thing. about understanding Greek that. life. They're gonna, they do it all the shit. time. I just don't That's believe that. That's some real petty shit. It ain't like they went to war or some shit no, like that. No, they do ask, like, what chapter you're part they of. Ask they ask. They, they, they ask. They even got handshakes and shit. Yeah. But, what, but, so, the whole, but the whole point of this conversation was Boosie, fucking rapper Lil Boosie. These petty little people. He, he wore a Kappa shirt and the Kappas... Made an issue, I believe, on some clout chasing shit. Wow! Because the Capitals was here since 1917 or 1911. Excuse me. I believe. And Boosie just got here when? Because it's and they, they need to clout chase on Capitals is way bigger than Boosie what? ever what has been. Famous Capitals will be. Though. That's on Instagram. Who's clout chasing? Capitals. Cap <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> wow. Right. What famous Capitals wow. you know? Hey man, it was real crazy. Is that? You got me. I know here. famous Cubs. First of all, let me let me explain. Something I know real famous quick. alphas. I don't know no famous Cubs. Let me let me explain something to you right quick because now <laughs> now you're talking about misdirection. You making this about the Kappas. I'm making it about the all the Greek organizations. I'm not. It, it don't even make no difference whether it's Kappas, Cubs, Alpha, Sigmas, whoever yeah, not, it is. I'm not talking you about Greek. You should, huh? I'm not talking about all Greek. I was talking about the Kappas. And that's what I'm trying to say. So if it would have been a different organization, would you feel different? No. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make a difference whether it's the Kappas or anybody. That's something that's just frowned upon. Did you, is it against the law? No, but that's what I'm saying. Out of respect, it's just something that people are not supposed to do. Are you going to have some people, obviously, that's going to probably be disrespectful and do it anyway? Yeah, and guess what? So a lot of them, they got their ass being, beat. You, do you think Boosie was being disrespectful? No! That's what I said. But I said it myself. I said, so, so that's the part where I couldn't get to. All I was saying is that at this point, I'm like, Boosie then apologized. I said, I feel like it should have stopped with him talking about he wanted to shit me. I said, what, pro what killed me is all of the people who felt like that there was nothing wrong with it because they did not understand Greek life. I said, I said this already. Oh, I didn't know about them people. Yeah, that, that was my, I put it out there on, I didn't put it out there on my social media. I said, Boosie did what he did. I said, well, what kills me is the people. It was somebody that actually sat up there and said exactly what Brandon said. Like, hey. If if you can't wear it, they shouldn't sell it. What? That is by far the craziest thing ever. If you had to earn well, it. Well, I also did hear that, like, uh, I was listening to Joe Budden podcast, and white boy on there, Rory, he's a capital. There's a lot of other different conversations within that, too. <laughs> about, Agreed. You know what I'm saying? White boys is black fraternities and all that shit. And he was basically saying, like, hey, they do sell shit at thrift stores. Yeah. If, if you fucking like it. Now, would, would, would someone approach, I mean, I'm just saying, would someone approach 
just anyone on the street that there are a lot of people out here who have the uh, persona and they have the they carry themselves less than professional. Now, would you just, would any Greek person, because I'm not speaking for all Greeks, I was just talking to the cap about the capitals. Would any Greek person approach someone who uh, doesn't even appear to be college educated and ask them if they're wearing their letters? Yeah, absolutely. Why? And that's because <laughs> you don't even, so like you're just a and random and person. And, you know, and I got to say this. I got to say this. I got to say, no, no, no. so right. say this about you. You just sat here and said, that you were pledging at one point in time for you to not understand this and you were in the process and going through well, the understand. process at one point. Well, I so uh, but so I, I wouldn't I, if I if I see somebody who don't even look like he belongs, I'm not about to fucking man bother to ask right. this nigga why he got letters on. Who gives a fuck about this nigga? Right. That's just me. It is crazy, man. It's not like you're in the gang. This is a fucking. Okay, no, okay, it's no, supposed no, to okay. be a group of educated I, 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 niggas. I guess I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, who gives a? You trying to press niggas like you rocking colors out here? Like, saying, you niggas gonna, ain't gang banging. Are they gonna beat them up or something? I don't give a fuck. Honestly, I really don't care about Greek as much as other people. I'm just saying, would they rip that off you? But it really don't really matter to me. Like the shit is really. Man, you talking, you talking about? You talking about somebody that don't look a certain way, man? Bill Gates and Warren Buffett don't look like billionaires. Listen, would so, you really... So you're going to walk up to them and be like, hey, are you a billionaire? That's not how you do things, man. Notice they, the they, difference they, they, with what that. you said. You just said somebody that does not look college educated, that, but that's wearing Greek letters. Right. So that's all. Yeah, it's so why would you press people. them and ask them? It's not about pre it's not about pressing nobody. That's going to showing love to your frat. That's your organization. Oh, no, that's what they do. Oh, so it's showing love. That's like that's like that's like. So, so it's walking up and be like. It's what's no, up, it's, bro? Look, it's no different. It's no different than so if, what if I sit up there. And, no, hold on. It's no different than if I run into somebody. Then they say that they last name McPherson. The first thing that I'm going right. to do is start asking them. Do they know other people right. that are McPherson? Because this might be my family. If I see somebody wearing my Greek letters or whatever, yes, it's going to spark a conversation because. That's where a lot of their networking and connects and connects come from through their organization right. and things of that nature. They get to know each other because you never know who you might come across. But you will be the nigga to miss out on it because he don't look college educated, although he's wearing the letters. You tripping, bro? But I'm come on. now what no, I'm coming from the standpoint that I don't give a fuck but, but, anyway. But, but, okay, listen, and listen. I still feel like you tripping. Listen, <laughs> but, now, but listen, what it's happens? Different. It's very like different. I know. No, what, what, what they don't understand the word. If I'm like, nah, I ain't none of that shit. What? I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna check out my shirt. And, shirt then, and, then, and then they're gonna get questioned. Like, why? Yes, and niggas have gotten, gotten, and niggas have gotten their shirts ripped off their back. It can happen. But that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. But, 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 but why would that happen if you're an educated nigga? Hey, it don't happen to you because you might just be that educated nigga that still get down like that and you don't want nobody sitting there false flagging your shit, even if it's a person. So, 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 it happens. I'm just giving it for real. But then I bitch paternity ass had an army shirt on. I wouldn't give a fuck. But, but, but okay, then I, what if I ripped your shit off? But guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you like this. Is that cool? If you got on an army shirt, I'm going to put that shit on. If you got on a green shirt because it's a gray area where it's different, I will do it. We got a problem. We're going to talk about it. Why are you wearing fatigue? We got a conversation about it. Why are you wearing fatigue you ain't never been to war? I feel like y'all got to agree. If you ain't never been to war, y'all have to agree to disagree because it's it's something that, like, being in college, you witness and you see different stuff like that. No, for real. Like we, he went to Akron. I went to Kent. Like we see different stuff, and we see what Greek organizations would do and not to do. It's something that y'all wouldn't understand. It's just a respect I, it's thing. It's just so something different. Right. And I'm, I'm just saying, saying it's just different. Y'all don't know, understand. I, 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 I understand it though is that they're very petty. Nobody said you didn't go to it's college. You just not, you made it, you made it clear that you don't give a fuck. She said I wouldn't understand. The army people just running around beating up these people just wearing the shirts and the jackets. I feel like the army situation and the fresh is different. No, no, because they went through more serious. Which one? Wait a minute, hold on. How do you you have such a bit like I'm telling you I'm military, and then I and I do have an understanding of right. Greek life that you don't know. What up? Well, whatever. But you talking I have about an understanding difference. of Greek life, and I have an understanding of Delta in the military too. But I'm telling you right now that I am not that petty to see somebody in an army shirt on if they didn't know the army or not. So nobody said that. Nobody said that they would. All right, so they, that's the one thing that we said that they don't do. All right, so listen, so we're arguing. If I see somebody, hey, you been in a tree? They're like, nah, uh, uh, B. It's a nice shirt. I ain't fucking it. B. So here's the thing. He's not coming from the standpoint of it being petty. 
He's coming from the standpoint of it. I being understand it now. I'm talking about as an afterward. And after, right. after you find out that so you're not coming from the standpoint of didn't get once you establish that I'm not in the organization, right? What you gonna do? About right. What you going about your fucking day? I get. You know Man, somebody that okay, I'll say it like this: somebody that's yeah. mature enough. You got some that will be on some bullshit. You shouldn't be selling that. Wait a minute, hold on. You see now you're tripping again. Hold on. First of all, first of all. Yes, you got some people that's going to be on some bullshit and that will say, fuck that, take that shit off and try to rip you out your shit. Do I agree with that? Absolutely not. Can it happen? Has it happened? Yes. Well, what? Wait, wait, but wait a minute. Like it don't make a difference. Brand. It don't make a difference. But going back How to what are you? Going back to what you said. Supporting your brand. Going back to supporting our brand. See, fellas. Going back to what you said. Going back to what you said. If it's a nigga that's college educated and got some sense about himself, nine times out of ten, I want to even say ten times out of ten, that's gonna be more of a of a of an understanding and a conversation opposed to it getting physical because anybody that got any sense or any maturity about themselves because you got dumb niggas that can still cross in a fraternity and still be on that bullshit or whatever just like you got people in corporate offices that still on some bullshit outside of their day job don't get it twisted people can be assholes no matter what type of organization that they belong to the point is like yes don't try to put it like, oh, you an educated nigga, you would do that. Like, no, nah, the point is, at the end of the day, is that you have an understanding of it, then you would understand that you have to respect it. Flat out, plain and simple. That's what right. it comes down to. Right. Or don't. And if you it. don't, but but if you don't, and, so, and, and that can also be respected. I would now, wait a minute, hold on. If you don't, and that's the thing. You don't, it's going to be respected by some, but you, you're going to have some that's not going to respect it. And then if something happened to you behind it, you got to take that responsibility because you thing, knew what it was. But the thing is, like, it's so. like almost like when you say something happened to you, we are 40. We are. Like Ain't hours. nobody 40 years old pressing nobody. What about a nigga that's 19? I'll just keep my receipt on. What do you do? Okay, <laughs> nigga, you nineteen. What? I'm gonna keep my receipt. You think you think a nineteen year old nigga gonna give a fuck that you? But first of all, a nineteen year old nigga gonna come up to you if you got the letters on and be like, hey, you know he gonna think you a you a, a old head in the frat. And then if he find out like, oh no man, I just saw this shirt in no, the store and I'm wearing it. But then he finds oh, man, you no, can't wear that old school. No, he find in bootsy. I'm keeping it the bootsy case. He finds out my brother is in your fraternity. Oh, bro. Oh, that's what's up. You still can't wear it. No, nah, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> At that point, it's you, fuck you. You know, you know what? Yes, the fuck out. Y'all talk that shit. Well, either one of y'all wear, 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 wear a marine shirt. shirt. It's different shit. Wear it. Wear it. Go get a Kappa shirt and wear it. If I ever have a Kappa shirt, Kappa shirt. I don't have no affiliation to Kappa or no Greek shit. That's why nobody's got to respect it. That's what I'm saying. Y'all is comparing wearing an army t shirt or a military t shirt. I will sue the organization. Y'all see the fuck out of here. If I ever got pressed for a fucking a fraternity or whatever fucking shirt I wore, and somebody with that fraternity fucking did something to me or threatened me like that, I would sue the fuck out of the organization for doing I got to have so much right to do it, <laughs> and I'll put you motherfuckers <laughs> under the motherfucking front. Right, I don't know how many people were successful with Shit. that. All right, so, so look, you going to do what? We're, we're going to end this. We're going to end this. We're going to end this. My point is here. They're fucking selling it, Your me. Honor. You're <laughs> He talking to I know. This he talking to him, but he ain't going to do a goddamn yeah, thing. I'm going to the shit out your ass. You ain't going to wear it. All right, let me, give me one then. Man, go, buy, go buy this nigga. Give me one. Go buy this nigga. Hey, give me shirt. a receipt, too. Go buy this nigga Alpha shirt, Sigma shirt. Go buy them all. I was sued. Wear all them bitches. I was sued that ass. I was about to summarize the shit, but I just lost my, my thought. <laughs> you niggas is fucking around. Uh, I, just think that was, I just think it was ridiculous for all that hype to go over a bit. It's like, come on, man. And that's the reason why it was so much hype is because he's famous. That's the reason being. Right. Yeah, motherfuckers thinking that he was fucking, uh, that he was a Kappa. Stop passing me that shit, B. You keep fucking offering yeah, me that he shit. Need to I keep it. saying no. Because he getting re more and more retarded by the podcast. Yeah, I think that's why we going so yeah, long with right now, nigga. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking that's like, you make no sense. He got blunts and cornrows. I this nigga is going all gangster. Yeah. <laughs> now you tough. I just want to sue people. They want to touch me. <laughs> Hey, hey, did y'all see um the last season of uh Marriage Boot Camp? Which one with Walking Them? Yes. Yeah. You did? Yeah, I saw that shit. Did, so are you going to be tuning into this season? I ain't seen who on the new one. Alright, I got damn, I thought I had the whole fucking lineup. Uh Jocelyn Hernandez is on there with whoever her, her dude is. She, she, I think I seen a clip of this, no. but I don't yeah. remember everybody. Go ahead. Uh, uh, rapper, uh, Styles P, 
Styles P on it? Oh, he on there shit. with his wife. I just watched the interview with them on the Breakfast Club. Hey, you just said Jocelyn and Styles P. <laughs> <laughs> that right did just fuck um, me up. Fuck. Uh, now I'm having a brain fart. It was, um... Fucking with that. Just look it up. Look it up, B. I'm trying to do it. So it was it was a seven. few it was a few other um, names on there that we know. Damn, it's, it's it's gonna come to me. But they was talking about how they was on the show and how actually it is helpful. Like the counseling that they get, the therapy that they get, the sessions and the uh, the exercise that they go through is really helpful shit that they would gladly pay for outside of the reality show and he was basically saying like i wish i forgot what doctor he was talking about but he was like man i wish he could live with us and just be around all the time i just think it's pretty cool that they're able to get expert kind of counseling and therapy while being able to fucking get paid and be on the show and have fun and just kick it like the last marriage boot camp mm -hmm. i was lightweight tripping on how much weed they were smoking bro no. they was in there blowing Wait a minute, hold on. Is this Styles, Jocelyn, uh, what's his name? Uh, CeeLo. CeeLo. Motherfucking CeeLo Green. Uh, shit, I don't know who these other two people is. It don't even matter. One of them got blue hair. Who the hell is she? What's this little girl? Oh, I don't know. Mm. But you got CeeLo Green on there, man. Right. And, and, and Styles P. So you know Jocelyn got to be cast as the, as the, the X Factor. Bianca. Oh, she that little rapper... From New York, the, uh, I think that's the chicken noodle soup girl. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah, really? really? Cool. Not even being funny. Yeah. And then we got somebody else on here. I don't know who that is. That look like it might be. Is that? No, I can't tell who that is. B, you ain't see it? No. So you're not even here? Nope. All right, so you have to get caught up on the first season of Marriage Boot Camp. Um, Soldier Boy was on there. <laughs> Man, Soldier Boy, Waka Flocka, Lil Mo. Lil Mo, uh, that was another interview I watched on The Breakfast Club. Lil Mo was on there, and she was talking about uh, her time on the show. I mean, didn't she just finally say that she was getting, she was finally about to divorce her husband that she goes on there with because he did some bullshit, like, as if he had done enough already, yeah. like, uh, you might as well accept everything if it's like that. I kind of felt a little bit bad for her because I didn't know she was struggling with, you know, like, drug abuse, opioid abuse, and things like that. During the time on the show, too? Yeah, for like years. She talked about it on The Breakfast Club. So. Right, Lil Fizz and was on there. Lil Fizz and... <laughs> yeah. Lil Fizz was on there with a chick. Hold on, wait a second. Like, you like, did... A few weeks ago, you did... A few, maybe it might have been months ago. You was... Uh, you was um, bringing us up to speed on the on the Lil Fizz and Omarion little beat that they was oh, having. Oh, no. I heard they done broke up, man. What the, oh, no, you no, got no. an update for us? Oh, no, I ain't got no update. Yeah, no, no, the last thing that was just point. I mean, I know him and him and Amar, him and Amarion's uh, baby baby mama. They officially together in a relationship now. That 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 was the last of that. But like it, it it's out. They they announced it. Like but they that, are together. The 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 last rumors I heard that they they ain't together no more. That quit. I swear to God, that, I, that quick. Hey, that's even funnier to me. But uh, but man, it, <laughs> hey, that's super funny to me. But man, like everything seems like it's for a storyline. Man, listen, listen. he on he on marriage boot camp with a chick that he wasn't even for real. Yeah, even she with. From? Like, is that? I think it was a chick that she he was smashing that they was in love and was waiting for him to make a commitment and he wasn't trying to make one. Did they have a kid together? No, oh, for real. No. Oh. Damn. So. Lil Fizzo out here looking for storylines, man. man. Hey, man, what when I tell fuck? you, when I tell you, he's so corny to me, man. And Super I'm talking about corny. before the Omarion stuff, man. Like, he, yeah, I just, I just don't get this dude, man. That's but, terrible. Hey, but I, it is what it is, man. He, he, you love who you love, I guess, and he gonna go do what it is that he do, man. But I got so sick of this nigga crying and being all emotional and passionate and stuff, man. But... He, he's a sucker. <laughs> he's a sucker, man. I don't care. I said, tell him come fight me. I don't care. Just say come fight me. Damn, man. That's, cra that's crazy. Yeah, I just call it what it is. He's a sucker. One last thing I want to get to. I don't want to end it on a sad note, but I'm really interested to hear how y'all feel about this because um, we hear about like things falling from the sky often, and you like you won't really think about the shit falling from the sky and like 
fucking with you or like injuring you or possibly like an asteroid or some shit. Asteroids, uh, meteors. Um, you know how people shoot up in the air yeah, on the Fourth of July, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, not the Fourth of July, oh, the fuck, New, Year. uh, New Year's. What goes up must come down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you live in a real bad area when there's a lot of gunfire going off, like those bullets are coming down somewhere. And I remember yeah. back in the day, I used to hear about oh. A bullet fell, fell from his car. Killed this lady, or hit, hit uh, or yeah, or came yeah, through my yeah, living yeah, room, or my grandparents' car one time. Yeah. So it actually does happen. It's like, what goes up must come down. But anyway, it was a uh, crazy story I read um, in Los Angeles. I think it was Los Angeles, Southern California, something like that. I don't. I'm not really too sure. But a plane uh, took off, and I think it was headed for Australia. Some really long flight. And they ran into some type of emergency, and they had to turn around and go back to the airport. But I, yeah, I guess for whatever reason, they had to dump fuel in the in process of landing at the airport in this whatever emergency that they had. And they dumped the fuel over a fucking elementary school with kids in the playground. And kids got injured, had to get checked out, and it was a whole ordeal. And I thought that was one of the craziest stories I read in a while about that is crazy. shit falling from the sky. Because well, usually when shit no falls deaths, from the no. sky, no deaths. Okay. It was just That's good. fuel. Okay, but, so it's just lawsuits. <laughs> and that was, that was going to be my next thing. It's like, uh, how many of these people are going to have lawsuits and I was also thinking about the precedent like has this happened before and what has happened with those lawsuits in the past because in this article I was reading, everybody should have a lawsuit it was the uh, LA Times but they but as I read through the article I don't have it from him I'm going to go through the details y'all can look it up but um, at the end of the article it kind of detailed a few other incidents that have happened with airplanes having to do things with releasing fuel for emergency situations, and it's happened quite a few times, right. but typically it's in uninhabited areas or it's not over the heads of a bunch of school kids in elementary right. school on the playground. So I thought that was crazy yeah. as hell. I mean, Nobody I'm killed, no serious uh, like injuries like that. But mm -hmm. I mean, I got PTSD now. Every time a plane is flying over me, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucked up for life. <laughs> Take me. Is that how the claim right. goes? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the statement we make. Oh, y'all said I wasn't all the way injured enough to where I know. I know I need my medical bills paid, and I am traumatized by this experience. I mean, yeah, I life. got, I got for life. slight blindness in my Hey, but right you know what? I'm it. making a joke about it, but real talk, that's really what happens to people. Mm -hmm. Like, people get phobias and, and stuff like that because of dumb stuff like that. Right. It's It's real. Like, I'm saying that as a joke, but it'll be somebody in the courtroom really saying that that's what happened to them. And you have somebody like, this motherfucker just trying to get some money. And they don't really truly be mentally messed right. up behind so it. Be like, I just put a cigarette out just before then. <laughs> Two minutes later, I could have been wrong. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they're all just getting ready to light a cigarette. And if you're thinking about that shit and flip on me, like, I got a point there. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, man, you just. I would trip hey, man, you just made me think about something. I would trip the fuck out of that and make a lawsuit on it. Hey, you got to I was just thinking, man, it'd be like Brandon lighting that cigarette in the rain and some fucking right, gasoline right. hit his. <laughs> On this wall, right. like, on this wall, like, like, he trying to light like that motherfucker, man. <laughs> he just burst in the flame. Boom. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it. Rain put salty. his ass out. Right, you know what I mean? Salty. Acid rain. Oh my ass. god. Acid rain yeah, on your foolish pride. Right. That'd be, that'd be one for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's, that's something. I don't know how that's going to play out. Man, no, it's going to play out with a bunch it. of lawsuits. But Even the people that ain't got the, no reason to. They get the they this money. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the plane. I'm pretty sure the plane landed successfully. Mm -hmm. If not, we would have been um, talking about that story. Oh yeah. Uh, instead yeah, of the yeah. fuel being dumped on the innocent children. Okay. But most of the parents was just really complaining about laundry bills. What? Yeah, laundry no bills. PTSD. Somebody could think. Not of yet. It. Somebody's lawyer. Laundry, laundry bills is early for PTSD. Man, if you don't throw that stuff away, first of all, why are you trying to wash some gasoline clothes anyway, man? And From not the pictures like, I saw. 
these are not well-to-do people in this area, bro. This might man, be some, this might be some East LA shit. Yeah, you. fam. It wasn't. Y'all don't no, throw that shit away and get nah, some more and had them pay for y'all's wardrobe and not for a laundry bill. Man, like we can trick or something. I'm not sure they can afford to throw. I'm sure it'd be some type of class action lawsuit that'll come and get these conversations. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. You said you they can't afford to throw them away. What I'm saying, you don't don't throw them away. Have them replaced. Oh, Keep yeah. them into yeah. I want I want a new wardrobe. Oh, they gonna win whatever they. Yeah, we talking about one outfit. Right. Yeah, right. We ain't talking about all your shit. We talking about outfit. They dreams. might have had ten kids in the parking lot. I mean, in the playground at that time. I don't right. know. I had on some. It's East LA. Who knows? <laughs> I, I had on a pair of Jordans. I think some Gucci boots in my bag. Right? I know. I know. I know. Jordan looked like <laughs> right. Shaq on there, but that's Jordan. Right, a couple Cuban links. Uh, Gucci and Fendi all on me. <laughs> Fendi Gucci is all I wear. Right now. That's, that's a fruit of the loom right. tag that's on there, sir. Right. And on that day, I had a majority of all of it on because it was cold. I think we got to everything today, man. I think we mm -hmm. good to go. Y'all done hey. argue. We done talk about cats. Oh, no, this shit going outside next moment. Right. I'm about to whoop his ass in the rain. <laughs> we going back to the rain. Right. We, love, we love the Greeks. We love the, the oh, fraternities. My way out of it. We love the Kappas. Like I said, I was playing yeah. the Kappas. Shout out to the Kappas. Shout out to Boosie. Uh, shout out to the Marines. <laughs> Shout out to the Crips. Who else did we throw out there in the uh, in example? Yeah, shout, out the shout, out the, <laughs> shout out to the Rib Cage. Shout out to the Jay Matt Show. <laughs> yeah. Finally, yeah, there we go. Shout out to the Jay Matt Show, man. We will see y'all next week. We out of here, man. Doses. Peace.